So here goes. The Bards. The Beehive. On everything. I can't stand ya. And I mean that in the most respectful way possible. Okay? <laughs> Guys, it's your girl Destiny here, back with another. Okay. <laughs> it's your girl Destiny here, back with another video. <laughs> and as you guys can see by today's title, I'll be talking about celebrity stands and how you guys are problematic. You guys are toxic. You guys disgust me. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I was, I. I was playing. I'm gonna have to put on my bigger pins and get prepared for any kind of backlash that might come from this video. Just know this is my opinion. So my opinions is not coming from a hater standpoint. It's just genuinely how I feel. I said what I said, okay? But before I get into the video, you guys, please like, comment, share, subscribe, press that bell button, okay? And follow your girl on Instagram at this.brett underscore. So. You guys ready? Yeah! yeah. First of all, why does it look like I gotta be in a biker gang? Like all I need is like some leather pants with some black shades and it's given that. So for those who's watching this, it's like, what are you saying, Destiny? What is a celebrity stand? Well, basically a celebrity stand is a highly devoted fan base of a celebrity. However, technically that's kind of the definition that we kind of go by now. But if you really do look up the definition of a stand, it's like an obsessive fan. So technically speaking, stand, like consider yourself part of a stand or you standing somebody, is really not a positive or endearing term. But you know, I'ma let people have that. You know, this is what we're going by. And when it comes to a lot of celebrity stands, usually I feel like it happens more in the music industry that musicians give their fans a name. So we have like Swifties, which is Taylor Swift fans, Barty Gang, Cardi B fans. And as you guys can see by my thumbnail possibly, uh, the Beehives, uh, which is Beyonce's fans, the Bars, which is Nicki Minaj's fans, and the Navy, which I think is Rihanna's. So that's just a few of the names. So here we go. The Bards. The Beehive. On everything. I can't stand ya. And I mean that in the most respectful way possible. Okay. <laughs> so let me elaborate before y'all come here walling because that's what y'all do best. Ugh. I do not have an issue with the Barb's or the Beehives or any other fan base that, you know, supports a certain kind of celebrity. Like, you appreciate their craft and you're inspired by their craft and may even like their personality um, from what they've shown us. I grew up on Nicki Minaj songs, right? So Nicki Minaj was like my generation and for me, like my version of probably like the past generation's Little Kim. Are you a Nicki okay. fan? What? Am I a Nicki fan? Pull up in the Sri Lanka. What? Y'all want What? Um, chow. Anyway, so. She's very influential and very talented. Not taking that away from her. And she spit her own bars. Respect it, you know what I'm saying? Same concept for Rihanna and Beyonce, you know? So now that we got all that cute, sh sweet, nice sh out the way, <laughs> let's get down to business, okay? So my sh issue with these little stands, way more specifically, if you want me to be technical with the beehives and the barbs, because I think you guys are the most toxic fan base ever. Y'all do the most unnecessary things. Guys literally harass people. You throw out a lot of hatred and disrespect. And yo, even down to the, the severe cases, with like threats, like death threats, y'all. You guys are freaking Looney Tunes. And y'all do that for multiple occasions, for multiple things. You guys be on that timing for when 
solely because somebody may disagree with what one of your faves has said or did. A perfect example just came to my mind, guys. Nikki recently just had did a live recorder, right? They were talking about, uh, what? I was gonna say blink blink. It's blink blink, right? So there's definitely a part of the video where Corda Ray is speaking about old, like some, let's just about old, the haters, something like that. She mentions like hate, that she got hate. You know, even through the hate, nigga, I grinded through that shit. Still to this day, just grinding. Now look. Nikki kind of like shuts that down or kind of like dismisses like her experience. Can you girls stop, you well, like, can you girls, can you girls stop talking about hate? Y'all have, y'all have never, I, listen, I promise you, y'all I mean, have never experienced hate like the way this this guy right here me has experienced it so don't wish for it now it was really given like it's a competition granted i don't really think she meant it in that kind of way but it came off like that like it came off like really really weird and people called it out and you know you know how the barbs like, love to tussle that right there was just a prime example of disagreeing or not really approving of what a celebrity has said or did or another situational thing where it's like if they're fave celebrity if they're beefing with somebody else another celebrity the fans love to take matters and take to their own hands to violate and to try to like defend their fave and it's like i do believe that a lot that majority of these celebrities that people go back crazy for and go hard for they're grown as adults so therefore they can say they peace there is no need as a barb or as a beehive fan or as the navy or as a swifty or whoever to go on to the next person's page i love to antagonize and instigate situations to make shit worse and to get people more tight and it's like for what why y'all doing that and that really reminds me a lot of like the cardi and nikki beef another situation you guys god forbid oh lord god forbid you say i don't like Nicki minaj i don't really like her music or i don't really like beyonce i don't really like her music or whoever it is <sighs> bitch grab your torch and pitchforks because y'all be ready to find somebody y'all be ready to find these people and just crucify them it's like damn nobody can shake their opinion without y'all feeling like old pressure to the point where y'all gotta come with some psycho energy like relax you can agree to disagree. Another situational thing where it's like, you don't even hate this celebrity or anything like that, but you could be like, they could be posted up with an outfit. And you know, of course, and I hate when y'all do that. Y'all be gassing up a lot of these celebrities fits and they fits be looking crazy. Because <laughs> what? You can be like, oh, I'm not really feeling that outfit. Like that outfit's not really given. But you still cute though. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can even add like, oh, but you still cute though. And the crazy ass fan would be like, okay, so? How else it costs more than your life? And it's like, whoa, whoa. Say that shit again. Say it again. Damn. And regardless of her outfit being more than what I have, the outfit is still trash. That shit is basura. Like, it's expensive and ugly. Now what? And it's what's funny is because I don't partake in like, I never get into these kind of like arguments. Like shadow comments, I don't ever comment. I might go through this, I go through the comments and I might like a few, but I never comment down below on a thing. Or I never go on a, like a celebrity page to talk shit. And you know what you guys, I, I expect this kind of behavior from kids. So like from kids, like from like middle school to kind of like teenage, teenagers. You kind of expect that energy. It's giving real petty, immature, immature vibes. You know what I'm saying? So it's highly confusing when I be seeing grown ass adults worried about a whole entire celebrity. And I want to say I definitely have been there at one point with like, well, I don't think I ever was a crazy ass fan, but I definitely remember being really like being really caught up and really sucked into like the celebrity culture. Yeah, and that's why I said I feel like when you're kids, you go through that phase. I remember being crazy about freaking um, Chris Brown, y'all. Chris Brown was my baby. He was my baby. And then you go through like your boy band phase, right? For me growing up, the boy band that was around was mindless behavior. So, you know, that kind of like fan girding phase too. So that's what I'm saying. That's kind of pretty normal when you are a teenager, when you are in middle school young. That's a normal kind of energy. Holding celebrities accountable for their actions. God forbid you do that. You call out a celebrity because they did some weird foul or like it wasn't right kind of thing and you, somebody calls it out. Whew. And a lot of these, these fans be mad delusional. Like for example, I think a great example of like delusional ass fans are fans that just 
don't know, bro, would be R. Kelly fans. And I, oh, like back in the days, nobody held him accountable. But it was obvious, like a whole video of him pissing on a girl. Like there was blatant evidence back in the days that he was a weird child. It was evident. The whole Aaliyah thing. Uh, Aaliyah thing. Come on, like, this wasn't even intentional. Yo, I've seen, like, you know, when they were surviving R. Kelly, you see, like, the little documentaries of the fans. I love R. Kelly, and I know he didn't do it. I know that's not him. He's not guilty. He's not guilty at all. They just want to bring him down and kill his image of who he is. That's right, he's not guilty. I need to protect him because he's a good man. He's not who people make him seem like he's a monster. He's not guilty. <laughs> Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. I know those people that was cheering, rooting for him, look so goofy and dumb now. Another thing that I want to bring up in this video, because obviously you guys can see that this was really heavy in my heart, because I'm, I'm saying this with a lot of passion and emotion. But um, I think what we got to get through our skulls is that celebrities are dead ass rag people. Like, they rag. I understand having the emotion, like, if you was to ever see a celebrity, in person like oh that's who that look at that so and so i feel like that's kind of like a normal especially if you do support them and like their work that's a different energy than people who are literally fainting like oh my goodness michael jackson concerts yo <laughs> yo You know what I'm saying? I'm giving a pass. But fainting, you dragged it. <laughs> Yo, you dragged it, OD. But bringing up Michael Jackson, that is another. If anything, I will have to say Michael Jackson has had to have one of the craziest, especially when he was alive and doing his thing in his prom, has to have the craziest fan base ever that I've ever seen. Worse, like crazier than Beyonce. And that's just a lot because Beyonce is like number one when it comes to her crazy ass fans. And bitch, I need some lip gloss. My shits look like chalk. I feel like with these celebrities, you gotta learn how to detach their art and what they created with who they are. Because at the end of the day, y'all, it doesn't matter the amount of interviews, documentaries of like their personal life. We do not know these people. <laughs> we don't know these people on some dead ass timing. So like, I really do think it's like support and love what you see and what they show you. Y'all, look at what Ellen DeGeneres. She can't, it came out to everybody that she is, she's not really nice and all this love and, you know, all these nice goody goody shit that she's was spitting on her show. It was not, it's not given. This is what I'm saying, guys. Like, we don't know these celebrities. And when it comes down to these celebrities and they stands, and when they stand goes off on awesome weird whatever timing it's a handful of celebrities where i feel like they check their fans like i know Nicki minaj recently just checked their fans because i think they were wilding about something and I, she does that quite often i will say like she be checking the bars but for like for example for beyonce on everything i've never seen beyonce not once respond to some crazy crazy shit addressing something the only time that she i feel like she ever addressed anything was through her music the lemonade album with the whole jay-z solange you know him cheating on her but that is the only time that I've ever heard her ever kind of dress something. That kind of rubs me the wrong way just because she know she knows she has a power. A power that is so freaking crazy and scary. Where it's like if Beyonce said, like rob a bank for me or rob, like do something wild like that, there are fans out there that will really be on that timing and do anything for her. And it's like <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. I feel like she definitely has enough power to not make everybody or all her fans to relax and pipe down but a, a good amount i know that she can control and i feel like she just lets them rock and do it and go crazy that's just like i feel like what i've seen of her like i've never seen her ever be like hey guys can you like relax or like you know it's all love like you know what i'm saying like i feel like she's never ever took try to control a situation like that like i'm telling y'all like the celebrity worship is out of control it's really crazy and i'm really like imagine the future 
like I said, nothing against celebrities, like, you know, celebrities and anything. But, like, is it not a tad bit weird that Beyonce is literally on a godlike level? Beyonce, not nobody who cured cancer or, like, like, if anything, like, doctor, what's that doctor that, um, he had, like, natural cures for, like, HIV, lupus, like, all those, all those diseases. If anything, which I don't think that's right to put any human as god level, but if anything, you would think, because he did kind of, like, impossible, right? He would be something very special to humans. But we put Beyonce, because, why? No hating shit, no hating shit. She is mad talented, like, she sing, dances. She's a whole entertainer and performer. I will give her that and she deserves her flowers. But um, the don't deserve the whole motherfucking garden and then some. Like, that's just my opinion. <laughs> that she is not something where it's like we gotta like bow down to and oh my god. Who the f Yo, like it's like even down to the point where we put her, she's like a staple as the most beautiful woman on in the world. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like we use Beyonce as that kind of like I mean, it is. But I feel like people just run with that narrative because they're told that. Like, it's because that's what fucking they put in your ear, in your head. Don't get me wrong. She's a beautiful woman. But the most beautiful, like, and beauty is in the eye beholder. Period. Point blank. I'm pretty sure, yo, no shade. But I'm pretty sure I came across women that are way better than Beyonce around my area, on the, on the block type. Like, I'm pretty sure I found a girl around here in New York City that looks better than Beyonce. But hey, but hey, mm. <laughs> no shade. But you guys, that was my entire rant. This was a big rant. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a long video. But I really had to get up, get that off my chest. I've been really wanting to make a public video stating that. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, certain people wasn't offended or like felt any kind of you know pressure because I know how y'all people love to rumble. But, um, yeah, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Comment down below your opinions, how y'all feeling. So, I'll see you guys next time.